Hello again guys, coming to you again this week uh, with another video tip. Uh, yep, yeah, got another little bit of GoPro footage just following my nephew. Um, we're not going to do all GoPro footage like this. Um, next week I got some different stuff planned. Uh, regular video tip as far as like Reddit turns, I want to do some uh, do, do some tips on that and uh, help you guys out some more. This week um, we have a breathing tip. Uh, last week I had mentioned some stuff as far as trail riding tips and some breathing stuff it was one of the five tips if you didn't um, hear about it go back and check it out um, but I want to elaborate uh, this week more on the actual breathing thing and uh, whatnot because I get a lot of uh, response about it and it helps a lot of guys and uh, guys are tickled about it um, before I get to that please uh, feel free to scroll down and check out our RLR336 gloves. You can get your pair for 20 bucks. Order them and we'll send them out. Um, or you can also scroll down and check out our t-shirts at rlr336tees.com. Please feel free also to click the thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. It's, uh, it's very fulfilling to me helping out my fellow dirt bike riders and all the feedback I've been getting even offline. Just guys coming up saying, man, I really, uh, checking out your videos and this and that and just give me some feedback it's it's really fulfilling it's really cool um, and just motivates me more to just keep it rolling so I just do it for fun because I like video editing I use iMovie and it's pretty cool pretty fun uh, like playing around with the GoPro and stuff so it's just kind of like a hobby and it helps people out as well that's one of the main reasons I do it I like helping people out so giving back to dirt bikes man so let's get on with it right um, so a breathing tip, I'm heading this up, is a breathing tip to control your heart rate and have a better flow on your dirt bike. Um, okay, so I learned this <laughs> myself. Uh, went to Endora Cross two times, I think. Uh, the one time I went to Endora Cross, my riding coach at the time that I worked with for quite a few years, Gary Bailey was with me and we were standing around and he knew uh, John Dowd. You might have heard that name. Um, and John Dowd was there that year, um, and in conversation, standing around, just standing there, eavesdropping, um, Dowd had mentioned how, uh, you know, physical the Endora Cross was, and he attributed the breathing aspect that he breathes the same way for Endora Cross that he does for Supercross, and I'm like, well, okay, and then, you know, he brought that up, and then later on, I asked Bailey, I'm like, well, what's he talking about? Um... So Bailey explained it to me, and I've used it since uh, myself for my own riding. I've used it in my training, running, uh, whatnot. I don't run as much as I used to back in the day, but uh, I use it in my training and whatnot, but my riding as well, and it helps, especially the older I get, helps me refocus. It just It's good all around. It's a good all around tip, and it's a good um, foundation benchmark to just help, help your riding all around, in my opinion, uh, because we know that the dirt bike is very physical, and your heart rate gets up there, and one way to control that heart rate and uh, help with the physical aspect is just focus on your breathing. So here it goes. I'm going to explain it to you. Um, <clears throat> so I ride with my, and this is the way Bailey explained it to me. I ride with my mouth open. You've got to be conscious of roost and whatnot, obviously. Um, but I ride with my mouth open, and I focus on one thing. Focus on just blowing out. So it's like a simple breath, such as... And then it's like a hesitation, like you hesitate, blow out again. Hesitate. So my joke always is, but it's true, um, that it's easy for me to focus because I'm a dumb redneck, dumb Jersey redneck, but because it's just one thing, you just focus on blowing out. Okay, so if you're just sitting here, you focus on blowing out. And then when you hesitate, you're actually... In order to make take that next breath out that you're initially setting up to do, you're actually taking a small short breath in, um, and then so in a sense you're just focusing on one thing, blowing out. And in order for me to make that next breath out, I'm taking a little better air in. Now, in contrast to that, or in comparison, why is this better? I believe this is better, and when. You, Obviously, you're going to try it on your riding. You should be trying it along with me here. But 
two things. Um, the number one thing is I believe that in any uh, form of dirt bike racing or riding, a lot of times when we get into a tense situation, we constrict our breath or we hold our breath, especially, and, it, and a lot of times we tense up. I'm tensing up my, my hands right now by just saying this because I think a lot of guys, what they do is they tense their hands up around the, around the um, handlebars, and when they do that, they're actually holding their breath for short periods of time, and a lot of times... <laughs> This can cause you to get out of breath a little bit and also escalate um, or you know increase your heart rate a little bit. Um, so it's important to remind yourself just to focus on your breathing. You're blowing out. And um, so that's one aspect. The other thing is in relation, and I had a guy comment about this on the last week's video. You know, just if you breathe normally, um, where, okay, for example, like when the doctor... You know, you're at a doctor's office and he sticks a stethoscope on your back and tells you to take a deep breath. Okay, so let's shortly, real quick, take that deep breath. So now, when you take that first initial deep breath in, in my opinion of that is you actually are constricting or, I don't know, if, tensing up is the word I like to use, not constricting. You're tensing up your torso. Okay, and when you tense your torso, it's my belief that you also tense your arms and your whole, you know, mechanics of your body, what's going on. You're tensing everything up. Um, if you just focus on the breathing out and you're only taking a little bit of air in in order to take that next breath out again, you're not tensing up as much, quite as much in my opinion, and it's going to help you ride more relaxed. So more relaxed, more control. So... Um, real quick again, so it's just you're focusing on just blow out, just focus on the blowing out, and your body will naturally take back in what you need. I and I, you know, this is going to increase more rapidly as the ride goes on if you get more technical situation. But the thing I always think about is in a crash. Like what happens when you fall down? Okay, you fall down, you go to pick your bike back up, and your heart rate's going to spike. You know, like just jump up real quick. The one way to control that and get your composure back and getting good, good riding back underneath you, because a lot of times we start to manifest and start to make mistakes right after one initial fall, is learn to control your breathing. So you pick your bike back up, you jump on your bike, focus on that breathing of just blowing out. All right, so that's this concludes my tip on the breathing. I hope you guys got a lot out of this. Um, feel free to comment, like I said, below on some future tips. But next week, look, we're going to have some video footage of a ruddy turn. Uh, we have this turn we've been doing on this practice track that we've been hammering. It's a pretty gnarly good turn, but a ruddy turn, I think, is a, is a big uh, issue for a lot of people. Um, just there's a lot of variables that come into play, and it can affect your riding. So I want to help you guys try and focus on some key points to help improve your corner speed through a rutted, rutted turn. All right, so stay tuned, and uh, next week we'll be looking for that, and I hope you got a lot out of this video. Um, and like I said, comment below, and thank you guys for your time. See you down the trail. Later. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on one minute. Hold on one minute. I've been editing this uh, video, and, well, that's not quite how I want to end it. Um, I just want to add also, like, who is this tip good for? You know, who is this tip? Where does this apply? Um, it's good for all riders, obviously. Um, but it can also help that new young rider um, who may have challenges with just being over nervous before a race sitting on the start line if you're sitting on the start line think of this breathing technique you know you don't want to out loud do it and your buddies are sitting there next to you like what the hell is he doing but um a lot of a lot of times just breathing this way like i said before keeps you relaxed and it can help control your nerves um and also it gets you in that mode especially if it's at a hair scramble will get you in that mode of breathing that way already before the race even starts um, it can also help another person that can apply to. It can help that over aggressive guy. A lot of times, the over aggressive guy, corner to corner, point and shoot. I think if you know if the guy would just, you know, slow down maybe ten percent and focus on his breathing, it help 
everything come together a little bit more for him. Um, and the other thing I was thinking of, it could help that guy who's tired. You know, we've all been there. I've been there. I know I get there a lot. Um, I didn't have a hair scramble the last lap or uh, the last test at an enduro. You know, just focus on your breathing. One, it gives you something to focus on. Um, so it takes away your focus from being tired because if you focus too much on being tired, you do nothing but make yourself more tired. I know I've been there too. Um, so I just wanted to throw this in at the end uh, to add to it a little bit. Who who can, you know, who, who can find value in this and where can it help that guy? And I just wanted to add that to it. So thanks, guys. See you.